Hello students, in this video we will practice some questions on the topic quadratic equations. It's a very very interesting concept. So let's dive into the questions. The first question states if a, b and c belongs to real number and the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and it has no real root, then which of the following is true? I would suggest you to pause the video before seeing that how I am actually solving it so that you can give it a try. So let's solve it. Now I know that f of x is nothing but it is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Right? Right. Now this is f of x. For a greater than 0, I know that f of x has to be greater than 0 for all x. Correct? Hence, for f of 1, I would say that a plus b plus c is greater than 0. And for f of 0, I would say that c is greater than 0. And for a less than 0, like that is the other case, f of x has to be also less than 0. So I would say that f of 1, that is a plus b plus c is less than 0 and f of 0 that is c is also less than 0. Now in both the cases we know that c into a plus b plus c is greater than 0. So the answer is going to be option number a. Let's move to second question. Second question states that let s be the set of values for a for which 2 lies between the roots of the quadratic equation this. Then s is given by what? So this is a quadratic equation. If I'm going to take delta of it, the delta of it is going to be a square plus 8a plus 16 equals 2. And this is going to be a plus 4 whole square. Now hence the roots of the equations are always real because it's a square. All right. So the parabola opens upward since the coefficient of x square is what? Positive that is 1. Now 2 must lie between the roots of the quadratic equation and this is already given in the equation. That is, f of 2 should be less than 0. So, 4 plus 2a plus 4 minus a minus 3 should be less than 0. And a plus 5 should be less than 0. Therefore, a belongs to what? Minus infinity to minus 5. Option number C. Let's move on to question number 3. Now, question number 3 states, if ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and it has no real roots and a plus b plus c is less than 0, then which of the following is true? Now f of x is what? ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Now given is that suppose f of 1 is less than 0 and f of x equals to 0 has no real roots. So this is given. Then we can say that f of x is less than 0 f of x is less than 0 for all x. So f of 0 is going to be less than 0. So c is less than 0. Option number b. Let's move to next question. Question it's given that we have to find the number of solutions of this equation that is sine square x minus sine x minus 1 equals to 0 in this. Now sine square x minus sine x minus 1 is 0. That is sine of x is nothing but 1 plus minus under root of 5 by 2. And sine of x that is 1 plus under root of 5 by 2 is greater than 1 which is not possible. So the value of sine x is going to be what? 1 minus under root of 5 by 2 is the value of sine x which we need to take. And why we are not taking the positive one? We are not taking the positive one because 1 plus under root 5 by 2 is greater than 1 which is not possible. Hence x can attain two values in 0 comma 2 pi closed and two more values in what? That is negative of 2 pi comma 0 open. Thus, there are going to be four solutions, that is option number D. Let's move on to the last question of the day. The last question of the day states, if the equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to x has no real roots, then the equation this will have how many real roots? 
Now it is given that ax square plus bx plus c equals to x is one equation and the second one is one equation. So let this be 1 and let this be 2. Now from 1 we can get that ax square plus bx plus c equals to x. Therefore equation 2 has no roots. So the number of roots are going to be what? 0. I hope you were able to digest all of it. Now do try solving the test of this chapter on Eduref and check whether you were able to score full or not with complete understanding. Of course, you can avail all the logged documents, all the logged videos and all that content by just paying 80 rupees per month. Thank you.